Um, let's go yes. to D.C., take a live look there. Washington, the president. <laughs> If he didn't get caught on a hot mic again, yeah. yep. Uh, this time, he called a reporter a, a stupid, well, SOB only. He said the whole thing. Um, some people are saying, here we go. Didn't we just go through four years of that? Other people are saying, where's the lie? Uh, it happened after a White House event Monday. It's not the first time he has shown frustration. Um, he's a little bit angry these days. It, he's got reason to be. Um, and it usually happens when he's asked these well, tough questions. Our D.C. correspondent, both the imam, joins us live. And both uh, yesterday's comment, uh, expletive, it was aimed at a Fox News correspondent who's been getting under his skin. Let's keep it all the way. Um, so walk us through, though, this exchange. Right. Well, we know, Sharon, that sometimes reporters are shouting questions. In this scenario, they were shouting questions as they were exiting uh, the East Room of the White House. And so we've seen this before play out. But in this case, Fox News correspondent Peter Ducey was shouting a question, and he asked uh, what, and I'm going to quote him here because it's important too, he asked Biden, would you take a question on inflation? Do you think inflation is a political liability in the midterms? Take a listen here to the president's response real quick. That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a Now, Ducey said that the president did call within an hour to apologize, clear the air, um, and said it was nothing personal, pal, that kind of thing. And, you know, they had a nice call, is what Ducey said, and that he appreciated the phone call. But nevertheless, uh, we have this, of course, uh, playing out now on national TV everywhere because this is the president of the United States expressing a bit of frustration. We've seen this play out before, even in recent days, with another Fox News correspondent where he did say what a stupid question when asked about the situation in Russia involving Ukraine. And so we're seeing this mounting pressure that he may be feeling as it relates to some of the big topics unfolding right now, particularly you've got inflation and then you've got uh, Russia and Ukraine. And so we're seeing the president uh, maybe, uh, I don't know if I would say temper, but I would say frustration uh, unfolding here. Sharon. Yeah, uh, frustration spilling over, it seems. Um, inflation, though, remains the top priority for the president uh, as he enters uh, year two in office. So what is the administration um, proposing that they'll do about it, Bofta? Right. So the White House administration can't do everything to solve inflation. But what they can do is start to look into some real solutions for it. And that's why they have the White House Competition Council, which is what the president set up back in July. And this White House Competition Council, for those who may not have heard it before, promotes competition, particularly even in the healthcare sector and so forth, in a whole of government approach. The council is giving a progress report. This is the second time he's met them on efforts to drive economic competition, lower prices, gas, home heating costs, sharing things like meat, uh, things that are affecting the everyday American. So they're providing this progress report. What will come of it, as the president says, inflation is his top priority because everyone's feeling it, um, we'll have to wait and see. But he's expecting some of these prices to go down in the coming months, but many folks can't wait that long, frankly, right? Uh, they, they need help right now. And inflation is impacting all parts of the economy, as we know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. people are struggling. The president's frustrated. Um, all of this seems to be coming to a head. Both of you, Mom, live in D.C.